Hello Robin, everyone loves the Drake comic fans here, it's Terrence. And what do we got for you today? Well today we're going to talk a little bit about this guy Impulse because he plays a big part in Tim Drake's life when they become part of Young Justice. There's the trio right there. And also back in, or after that I should say, in the Teen Titans, although he's more of a kid flash, he's got the yellow kind of uh, reverse flash, and there you can see him right there. Bart Allen, uh, more of a reverse flash kind of look, and Robin will eventually have the uh, one year later black costume, which is pretty cool. Um, so, Rob Myers and myself, check him out on Rob's Rogues uh, YouTube page, we recorded a podcast and reviewed Robin plus Impulse, and I'll put the link right below where you can listen to that. I think it comes out in a couple days, so if you're listening to this today, you'll have to wait. Uh, but it was an epic podcast because we had a lot of technical difficulties, which I'm sure we'll talk about on the next podcast here. And Rob had to re-record everything that he said and remember what he said. So sometimes it's not quite the same here. So in uh, tribute to that podcast and all of Rob's hard work, I thought we would take a look at the first appearance of Bart Allen of Impulse here. And that is in Flash number 92. So I went through my comics and I pulled out a bunch of comics to see... I think I have Flash 92, and I hope so because, uh, you know, it costs a pretty penny. Actually, here I pulled it up on the website. This is um, gocollect.com, and they have Flash 92. They say a 9.8 is worth um, $120, a 9.046, .46, what do they got? Like even an 8.0 is a 28, and a, so it's 6.0, $18. So it's, it's worth a, a, a pretty bit. Um, Bart, and as Bart uh, plays more of a role on Arrow and the CW, I'm sure it'll go up. So I looked up and I said, well, what is his first appearance? And it said, issue 92, which I have here. And I thought a lot of people might not have that issue or may have read it digitally or in the trade paperback and didn't quite like look through it. So I thought it might be fun to flip through. Um, but it did say he had a cameo appearance in Flash 91. And it was kind of odd as I was flipping through my books. I had 89 and uh, 90, and uh, 87, and 88, and 94, and 95, and 97, and 96, and 99, and 98, and 101, and 100, but I did not have 93. So I went to the store, and I picked up, oh actually no, I had 93. It was 91 I didn't have. Where did I put 91? Hold on, let me pause this for a second and find 91. There's 91. It was on the bottom there. I think I might have said that here. So I did not have 91, and I thought, uh-oh, if Bart has a cameo in that, I need to get that. So I ran over to the comic book store and got it for $5. It uh, wasn't too bad. I'm not sure if I overpaid or not, but I just paid 5 bucks. He's only on in it for like one or two panels at the very end, and he's all completely silhouetted. You can't see him at all. And when I looked up here on Go Collect how much... 91 was going for they said they don't even have enough sales to uh, no sale record to uh, even make a uh, Value on it. So I think five bucks is probably what you expect to pay for a, a 22 year old comic in in pretty decent shape um, So let's take a look at flash 92 here the first instance of impulse and he's right on the cover so you don't really know who he is but um, He does not have his mask on which is kind of interesting. Um, eventually that mask will be such a classic look for Impulse. Uh, and he doesn't really have to hide his identity because he comes from the future and no one knows who the heck this guy is. Uh, but it is kind of weird to see him without the mask on. And this is an issue written by Mark Wade and uh, we're Ringo, which um, a lot of times you'll see him in the art, it'll just say Ringo. So uh, they are his creators, he, they create Impulse and came up with the name and what's cool about this book if you're a Batman fan and you're flipping through it There are a lot of Nightfall, Night's End, um, Night's Quest ads throughout the book Which is cool, but I don't know who would be reading Flash but not reading the Batman books And I don't know who that advertisement is for, it's kind of funny Everyone was reading Batman back then But starts off, um, there is an interview, I think this is Linda Park, she's interviewing um, this landlord who's complaining about these crazy people he had and they were in some kind of snake cult and next thing you know he gets attacked by snakes and gets killed and you can see the horror on Linda's face and then we've got the Flash playing basketball here's Wally West the fastest man oh, come on focus 
the fastest man alive, um, and he can play like a five on five against himself. Um, and this was called Reckless Use. Reckless, yeah, I can't speak. Reckless Youth Part One Speed Kills. Um, and so they basically talk about the. Uh, Ooh, come on, focus. There we go. They talk about the the snake attack, and there's another Night's End ad. The Night's End ads are awesome. It makes me want to go out and read that. Um, and then they just talk more about the snake attack and how it could be dangerous, and more about the snake attack and all this stuff um, until they see this mysterious stranger. And there's a Batman animated series. Uh, and it's a lot of Batman ads. It's oh man, that gargoyle looks so cool. Uh, Superman. And it turns out it is Aunt Iris, and she's much older. Now in the comics, she's younger, and on the show, she's younger. So I, I always remember as older. And she has written a book called um, The Life Story of the Flash by Iris Allen, which is sneaky because Wally could read it and know his future. Um, but as Iris says here, yeah, Wally says, what's wrong? And says, Wally, I'm here for a reason. It's my grandson. He'll die unless you save him. And you can see the the horror in her face. So now we get the backstory of who exactly the grandson is and how um, Barry Allen had traveled into the future and had children and then those children had grandchildren who were, you know, um, collected by the uh, Dominators and so well, you can kind of see the impulse custom there. He grew up in a virtual reality environment um, which is kind of cool and here we see more impulse. No mask, right? Uh, so it's his first issue, but it looks so funny without the mask. Uh, and he's lost in the time stream. And um, you can just see Iris and, oh, it's so ripped apart. So Wally's going to do everything he can to find him, find this guy. And here they go. Here we go, another Night's End um, ad. How cool is that? Uh, and we keep going. Star Trek, Wally and, and uh, Linda. And finally, he gets the trail of Bart of Impulse. And when he takes a step towards Bart, Bart sees him as a threat, thinks he's going to kill him, and starts fighting him. Which is why on issue 93, look at that, it's like right from there, there he's punching him. And Wally, of course, doesn't want to hurt his um, future, I guess what you would call him, future nephew, I think? Or, yeah. Um, or maybe they're cousins. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Here's another Night's End uh, ad with our boy Tim Drake and uh, Nightwing with the wings. Uh, and then we get a little bit more about this like crazy snake cult. And at the end we learn it is Cobra. Cobra Strikes. And that's right where uh, 93 takes off with uh, some good old male bonding going on there. So in honor of Rob and I's podcast about Impulse. Uh, so check out that podcast. And... Um, check out more stuff with Impulse, and I eventually, I have just not finished reading World Without Grown Ups. I didn't really like it very much, so <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to get through that. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you want. Do you want me to do some more Impulse books? Do you want me to start on the Teen Titans? Do you want me to start on JLA? I still got something a little bit special over here that I'm hiding uh, from when we hit 100 subscribers. So let me know, and uh, I got a few ideas for the channel that I'll be working on, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.